Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lust with Power bringing you another First Descendant build video. Today I'm bringing you my Haley Sniper build with a 100% crit hit rate. Haley does millions of damage and she has some of the coolest looking weapons in the game. I did a lot of pre farming just to be able to bring you guys this build today. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the build. Target confirmed. All right, man, starting off, first thing we're gonna knock out is the modules. Um, she has no special skill module for, for now, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, first thing we got is increased HP, max HP plus 218. Next, we got focus on chill. Chill skill power plus 77.2%, and then you get skill cooldown minus 6.1%. You want a decent amount of cooldown on this build as well for her skills. Um, we got skill insight, skill critical hit rate plus 115.4%. I went kind of overboard on the critical hit rate, but that was because I was trying to get the max amount of critical hit damage. In order to reach 100% 100% critical hit rate, you really only need skill insight and that's it. So you can put skill insight and just add whatever else you want to on the build and you'll still have 100% critical hit rate with her skill code fairy. Next, we got skill concentration, skill critical hit damage plus 115.4%. Um, next, we got dangerous ambush. Uh, when landing a skill attack while the enemy is not targeting you, you get that extra 24.9 skill power. And then on skill attack, I guess that immobilized enemy, enemy, you almost get 50% skill power. So once that enemy is knocked down, you can take out her death cannon it can have 50 percent extra skill power and that's what made me almost hit like 15 million 10 million crits on the bosses also i just want to mention i do swap this module out sometimes for different survivability since now with the new season we can swap like different module assigned sockets so like right here i got c so i can put even more health right here if i wanted to all right, next we got the uh, long distance maneuvering. This is basically what I always run right here. Um, next we got front lines, critical hit damage plus 64.6%. And then you also get extra critical hit chance. Um, we got emergency maneuvers, critical hit rate plus 64.8%. And then skill, skill critical hit damage plus 27.7%. Um, next, we got MP conversion, skill cooldown minus 36.5%, max MP minus 15%. Um, you want that skill cooldown so you can get your skills back as fast as possible. We also got nimble fingers minus 25.6%. And then we got uh, maximize conversion, skill cost minus 35.4%, skill power modifier minus 20%. That skill power modifier minus 20%, you won't even notice it. It really doesn't add, like even take away that much from her uh, her two singular skills. And then skill cost minus 35.4%, you're gonna need that because her MP actually drains a lot from Cold Fury, but Cold Fury is what's allowing you to reach that 100% critical hit rate. So you need as much uptime on Cold Fury as possible. All right, man, next we're gonna knock out her skills real quick. As you can see, the first skill is Cyro Rounds. And this is like your AOE skill. It fires out like uh, nine bullets. And you can see we got the cooldown down to 2.5, so we can fire it multiple times. Um, next, we got the Storm Snare. This is gonna be like her mega hit uh, move. Like I call it the Death Beam. Um, you see we got the cooldown down to 15.9. And we got the MP cost down to uh, almost half. Also, this is kind of a, a AOE attack, but it's a small AOE attack. You want to hit the enemies when they're lined up. Don't try to hit like crowds of enemies with it because it won't work properly unless you throw some extra range on it. Next, we got Cold Fury. Uh, this is very important because... Um, as you can see, Cold Fury basically drains your MP. And as you can see, the max 
and max MP it drains is 10 we was able to get it down to 6.5 so that's almost half which is great and the best thing about cold fury is this is what gives you the 100 percent critical hit rate as well so you can get up to 16 stacks and each stack a second gives you firearm critical hit rate and skill critical hit rate and you also get firearm penetration so once this uh once you get max stacks at 16 you also get skill critical hit damage increases by 20 percent and firearm critical hit damage increases by 20 percent as well all right so real quickly i just want to show you guys how much skill critical hit rate you can get on her setup with just skill insight and code fairy so right now all we have is the skill insight module and then i'm gonna activate a uh, code fairy so that's activated you can see it actually stacking um right there's the little green album and once it hits 16 that's when you want to do your damage so if we take a look we're at 96.93 critical hit skill critical hit rate and that's just with a uh, skill insight but once code fairy goes down this will drop down all the way to just 10 percent and i'll let y'all see that real quick so as you can see it dropped down to 10.77 which is absolutely insane so the skill code fairy is actually giving you some insane critical hit rate and you need to take advantage of it all right, lastly, we're gonna knock out her uh, last skill, Zenith. That's the sniper. And as you can see, this skill has chill and singular. Also, um, Storm Snare has chill and singular. So you wanna get chill and singular on your reactor. Um, as you can see, we got a cooldown of 9.5, which is absolutely insane. And the best thing about this sniper is whenever you hit a weak spot, it comes with four bullets. Whenever you hit a weak spot, you actually gain MP. And not only that, whenever you hit a target, you gain, you gain penetration, firearm attack, and it also does additional chill skill damage, which is insane. All right, lastly for the weapon, you, you can actually run any weapon that you want. It's up to you. Just make sure it matches your reactor. As you can see, I got a secret garden reactor with chill skill power and additional skill attack when attacking Colossus. You might want like a gold skill critical hit damage. That's probably the only thing that I can that I can think that's better. But you also want chill and singular for your sniper and like the death beam. Um, but like I said, for the weapon, you can run any weapon you want. Just make sure it's a pretty decent weapon. Um, I would suggest a sniper. I don't have any of my snipers maxed out yet, so I'm gonna start working on that. Um, for the external components, we got the Polar Knight Auxiliary Power. Um, we're running a two piece of that for the extra chill skill power that you get for the 6.2% and I'm actually running all this so I can get all HP so I got max HP max HP if you go down I got the polar night sensor it comes with max HP max MP um, chill resistance and then we got the annihilation memory uh, the two piece comes with the extra skill duration but we also get another max HP and then we also have max HP on this as well with a max shield and toxic resistance. Um, this build even isn't even maxed out because I uh, didn't level it up all the way. So I can still get even more HP than this. And then not including the other socket that I, uh, that extra socket that I did as well. But that's the whole build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through. Deuces.